Are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? <laughs> All right, we're taking you back to 1985 with Back to the Future, the movie, of course, taking us back to a younger Michael J. Fox. And nearly 30 years later, we have a unique way to see the movie tonight in Grand Rapids. Our movie guy, Aaron Lafferty, is here with his weekend picks and more. Okay, so this is the second movie outside that they're doing, right? Yes, this is the second of the first three. We'll find first out. First one the, was successful. <clears throat> the first one, Princess Bride, was successful. The next one's Anchorman. Mm -hmm. This one's Back to the Future. Um, the, the cool thing about this is, like, in the movie, Doc Brown talks about going, I always wanted to go in the future. I want to go 25 years in the future, which would be 2010, mm -hmm. which we've already so passed. Past we've, ar we've already seen that. So uh, the, the, the g great things about this movie is you got really good characters. It's a PG movie, so it's for all ages, mm -hmm. except for maybe little kids. It's very well done. Robert Zemeckis did a great job writing this, directing this. There's a lot of little pieces in it that you might pick up in second and third viewings. So Michael J. Fox is Marty. He goes back in time by accident because Doc Brown has a problem with his time machine. I'm trying not to ruin it if you haven't seen it, but if you have, you know what I'm talking about. So he goes back to 1955. He runs into his parents, which at any age, running back into your parents, you get to see how they lived, how they grew up, see if Awkward. they were the same as, you know, when I was a kid, I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, right. You find out if they actually did those kind of things when they were kids. Yeah, so. he finds out the truth in a big hurry. And, yeah. you know, and this is just a great venue to see this movie. Yes. You get, to, um, you get to see it on the big screen, which is great. Back to the Future has an intriguing storyline, and I think it also it sets up a lot of the concepts of time travel type movies mm -hmm. since in the last 35 years. Yeah. Okay, Aaron, if people want to come out and view this tonight with families, with friends, where do they go? What do they need to do? So they, I, I did a speed up on this video so you can see it constructing. Ah, you've this got, is the big screen. You've got, it's like 20 by 40 feet tall. Um, it's outside the Ford Presidential Museum, a Knob One Park, right next to the river. Um, Movie-related activities start at 7, and the movie starts at dusk, which is what, about 8.30, Terry? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep, yeah. Sunset is officially 8.42. Aha, so okay. there it is. So 8.42. Yeah. So you can bring out your own chairs, blankets, refreshments. Beer and wine are, avail are, are allowed. You can mm -hmm. bring your own. Um, no, like, glass containers and liquor and things like that, but you can bring your own refreshments, snacks, and there are also vendors if you want to buy snacks nice. there. So that's get there early if you want a good seat. Yeah, if you want a good that's seat. But luckily, obvious, it's big enough that you can come a little bit later if you have to. What a great okay. concept, too. One more great thing in yes. downtown Grand Rapids. So that's a fun one. Definitely, if you've never seen it or, you know, kids, you know, 25 years later, mm -hmm. go check it out. They I think a lot of parents like to take their kids back and right. say, I loved this movie when I was younger. Right. I want to share this with you. I know I'm finding a lot of excitement with that mm -hmm. as I get older and <laughs> want my kids to see ones that yeah. <laughs> I watched as a kid. Exactly. So if you, if you want to go back to 1955 or go back to 1985, you can do that in this movie. Here, 2010. Wonderful. Yeah, 2010. 2010. Yeah. <laughs>